Um, basically, this is Gloria Grace, which uh, my wife and I affectionately call her that. Um, she's a 1996 Mitsuoka Galoo. Uh, you may not have heard of them because they didn't uh, export outside of the company, country of Japan. Um, however, Mitsuoka is uh, Japan's 10th largest car um, company. Uh, however, they are predominantly a coach builder. Um, Mitsuoka uses a variety of manufacturers, uh, cars as a base vehicle, um, and from there they um, create vehicles based around uh, English 50s and 60s vehicles and American 70s vehicles. Um, so Gloria Grace here, for example, um, in quite plain see the front is modelled after a 50s Rolls-Royce slash Bentley, and the rear was modelled after a 1970s Fleetwood Cadillac, hence the, the tail lights that you have in there. Um, have a closer look at that. Um, they are all fabricated by hand and steel, um, and um, yeah, a lot of work obviously goes into to doing all those. Um, in this case, oh, I've already said that, that's all good. Um, her base vehicle is a Nissan Crew. I don't know if you know what a Crew is, or it's very similar to a Laurel. It might make more sense here. Um, she runs an RB20 engine, Nissan RB20. Um, it's a two litre inline six. Uh, it has about approximately 130 horsepower uh, and 171 newton metres of torque. Uh, she runs a four speed gearbox, auto, um, three speed plus overdrive basically, and weighs about 1,285 kgs. Um, so she's not a powerful car, but she's a nice cruiser. Um, they were available only in three colours uh, in this particular model, which was blue, silver, and the dark metallic grey. Um, and if you haven't seen one before, it's probably because there's only two of this particular model registered in New Zealand. Um, I think Aaron mentioned there might be a third, like a 98, um, which looks very similar, but there is some drivetrain differences. Um, that's about all I have apart from Mitsuoka, they, they're still in operation, they do a whole host of different models, um, most of which, in my opinion, are ugly, um, but they got this one right, I just think this one's lovely, um, so that's all I have for you, got any questions, happy to answer them. Really get spare parts for something like this. Well, being a Nissan drivetrain and, gear, and auto gearbox and stuff, that's, that sort of thing is quite easy to come by. Um, it's really just panel work, and, and any good panel beater will be able to take care of that. Um, being, like I say, being steel. Um, I did read on one website, they mentioned something about, um, I can't remember the actual material it was made from, it was kind of epoxy or something, or saying the guards were, but they're definitely not, they're definitely steel. If I actually bought this one, it had a, a rust bubble coming up in here to have repaired before we, we picked it up. So, and if you go onto their Mitsu like Waker website, um, they do a whole blurb on how it's all sort of handcrafted from steel and all that kind of stuff. So, so it runs in the central speech as well? Um, yeah, essentially, um, at Nissan Laurel, Nissan Crew. Um, so it's a whole floor pan? Whole floor pan. Windscreen? Yep, pretty much all those kind of details are the same. Um, yes. it's, it's just uh, basically from you know, the, the front forward and the boot back, um, the bodywork is just changed. Um, essentially, it's, it's one of those vehicles. Yeah. Uh, if you find somebody like myself and my wife, yes, there is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, like I said, it's next all outside um, of Japan, but um, they're quite popular over there. Um, Someone even said it would be a, it'd be a great Akusa car, um, standard issue, two body boot. Um, it's a good, good size boot. So it's a uh, yeah, lovely car. It just rides nicely. Um, we get a lot of people stopping us wherever we park it. People come over and go, What is it? What is it? Because there's, there's nothing really that tells you what it is, unless you look really close. There are some sub finer details in the front. Portion here with a stamp from Mitsuoka and very small writing on the, on the front of the, the engine there. But apart from that, people just don't know what it is. It's just like they, they kind of recognise it because of what it's modelled after, but it's not quite fitting that, that category. You know? yeah. uh, it, it's a good conversation piece. You get lots of people talking to us. Uh, yeah. 
So how did you come to buy that? I mean, were you looking for something else and stumbled yes. across that? Or? This is um, my wife, Angelique. It's her car. Um, and she loves to be chauffeured in it. Um, <laughs> she was actually, well, we were actually looking for um, a Rolls, basically. Um, that's the kind of picture that she had in her head. Um, and I kept going, well, you don't want the fuel bill, you don't want the expensive parts and all that kind of stuff. And um, so I, I kind of, we took one for a ride as a shadow and um, didn't really enjoy it. It was a bit baggy, it wasn't in good condition. Um, and so we just sort of kept looking and kept looking. And then one night she came across Glory Grace on Trade Me and it was on a car yard in Auckland. And she just told me that we're going. So we went. <laughs> That was that. So it's probably much, much cheaper to run than a proper roll. Yes, that's that's why I liked it and I was all for it because exactly that. It's cheap to run on fuel. Um, it's cheap to get parts, even if they are X Japan. Um, I did price the emblem because I was scared someone's going to swipe it. Um, it was $685 just for that. Um, but um, most other bits and pieces you can pick up. So, yeah. An affordable, classic-looking car. Anything else? So headlights and all those things that are easily broken, they're all Nissan as well? Um, I can't say for sure whether these are actually Nissan. I'm pretty sure I've seen those um, by them in aftermarket. Um, they are a glass lens, um, but I have seen them because I had an old-school Mini as well. Um, and I'm pretty sure you can buy those to fit those also. Uh, I imagine they're like a standard 7-inch. Yeah, they, they look quite familiar, aren't they? It's old school mini, they're a little bit larger than the old school mini ones, or whether it's Triumph or, or something like that. Yeah. So, yeah. Good to have a look. So, is that radiator surround actually metal? This part here? Yeah. Single plastic here, I think. That's where I said. So all these surrounds, surrounds are steel, uh, the bumpers are steel, but yeah, yeah unfortunately that's got a, a plastic tin to it when you knock it. <laughs> but the guard's done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Have you seen any photographs of the factory to get an idea of how they're made? Um, only from what I've seen on, on the website. They have a couple of videos yeah. on them of guy welding and beating the seal and things like that. So it's one crew follow a car, or is it? Um, yeah, it's not a production line as such. Yeah. Um, it's all sort of hands done. Yeah. Yeah. There's no, no robots involved or anything like that. And I think they advertise that on the website as well. It's all hand done. Yeah, check it out. Yeah. 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 Um, have a look at some of the other models they do. They're interesting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's, um, it's definitely a, a, a very different car. Um, it's quite cool because, uh, so I, as I said earlier, I, I met Dan and Angelique through work. Um, and uh, we, I can't even remember how we got chatting about it. So I think because I'd mentioned that I imported a few cars from Japan and things myself, and um, I think you'd said that you'd get a you know, unique car and had I heard it on Mitsuoka. I, I think it came about because of the money that I bought. Yes, um, that you conned me into um, by your sales <laughs> boys. Um, and that was because that was there was only 10 of those in the country and sort of went down that track and then That's her car came up with only two of these. Yeah, yeah. Uh, available. Yeah. 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 <laughs> she likes to point that out. Yeah. yeah. But no, it's it's um it's, um, it's really amazing. Yeah. And then, you know, I'm really glad that you guys um, brought it down and, and he brought it to work and stuff. That's uh, I don't, I don't care what anyone else does, but I think it's just an awesome car. Same as me, Aaron. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so what, what pushed your buttons to want to come on that Well, I was going to come on that and old Rolls Royce, and I'd made up my mind. But all my friends and my husband were saying, you will never pay for the petrol. You'll drive it to the shops. It'll be $300. <laughs> <laughs> and and plus, uh, the model that she was looking for on a roll is really like the sort of cloud. Uh, beautiful oh, car, but, but they were just the cost of running them and maintaining them, and you shouldn't enjoy driving it. So why, okay, I'll get Mickey going here, like, so yeah. why, what, what made you 
go for an old roller. So I wanted the silk cap, that's right. And she 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 walked walked I couldn't find her. <laughs> and I was getting frustrated. And he said, you need a card. It's, you know, I know you, you want all that. I've got a bit of Scottish in me, I think. I don't know what, but. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I was just like, well, I had it in my head what I wanted. And then I was just trolling through and this car yard came up and I had all these unique cars. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's exactly what I put in my head. And um, I, I, did I wake you up or not? Or was it was, no. you know, I think I've got, yeah, so I was like, oh my, how am I, how am I going to convince him to go to Auckland? Because he hates Auckland. Oh, and I said to him, <laughs> I found the car and I said, um, and I've decided, you know, you've always wanted to do the train journey to Auckland. <laughs> 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 I said, so we can do that. So we did that and. Um, the car salesman came and got us from the hotel the next day. And I have to say, they, they were really good. They, they picked us up um, they were from the hotel job. and took us in and then took us back um, to the hotel and everything. So they, they were good tomorrow. And then he just said, You're unique enough to own this car. <laughs> 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 it's true. But it was uh, the owner of the company, it was his, his car, and he had it in there as a, as a showpiece in his showroom. Um, just basically draw people on to look at something different. Um, so it's in lovely condition for what it is. Um, and I, I did actually see the other one, because it was an Auckland at the time as well. Uh, the other one was registered, uh, which is actually sold, um, but it wasn't in nice condition. Um, it didn't but, even look like No, the, the shut lines weren't quite right. Uh, they didn't line up nicely. It had a little bit of rust on it. It just looked tired, and the interior was quite different as well. Because I actually found that one first, and then because I didn't want to let them down, I had to say to the car salesman, "Look, I've actually got an appointment to see the other one." I said, "I'm not going to take the other one. I know I want this one." And, and they lent us a car to drive the other car. Yeah, <laughs> 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 it was Sunday, really. Yeah. Um, and I took a look at the other one, and I was just like, oh. and "Yeah, it just wasn't." But yeah, I mean, she's basically, as we bought her, apart from, like I said, there was a, a small blemish, a little bit of rough something up through here, which we said, may not fix that, and I mean, we'll take it, but otherwise not. And then we drove yeah. it all the way from Auckland to Port Spain. Yeah. And then um, she sat in the... Really, garage because I was too scared. Too scared to drive. Driver, I didn't want to get <laughs> rain on it, and then I was like, "What am I doing? I bought this car, but enjoy it." So, I'm not going to drive it. Enjoy it. Yeah. Um, so that's that's what I got. the other the other other side of this, eh, Angela, is that you're thinking. See, I'm not sure if you're still serious or not about getting a few more in and setting up a little, you know, like a little wedding wedding or you know ball type business and. Having like it's, you know it's three or four of these around, and uh, it's actually hiring booked for a wedding in March. You know, we've got a, a couple who are going to hire it. Well, that was quite accident because I bought it down and we had a meeting, and um, this guy can see my car, and he goes, "This guy loves your car. He wants to hire it for his daughter's wedding." And I was like, "Oh, I just love it when someone says they love my car." <laughs> <laughs> and so. Um, they said, oh, it's on our wedding anniversary, though. And I was like, oh. I was like, okay, we've had enough wedding anniversaries. So, we <laughs> so we're actually going to, yeah, attend or pick up some of their wedding. Well, I have got a, I have got a surface cap all in, it's on its way. I would love to have a little phrase to go on the front yard and then we can figure out how to do that that do it in the I don't think it's happening. Sorry, I'll try to that. Well, it has been quite a journey, isn't it? We had a few things go wrong at the beginning, but the um, car salesman put it right. Yeah, that would be. Um, um, yeah. With just yeah. the, um, there was an issue, the harmonic balancer. Um, was on its way up. We started up one day, had a little bit of a knocking noise on the wall. I'm not driving that. And uh, so we had it checked out with just a harmonic balance. So they replaced that. Um, and it's been good at the street since then. So. Well, that's what it yeah, is. The felt model or something like that, just out of the scratch and paint. Yeah, something like that. 
I just think it would be a hoot to have flags in the front and drive through and have people go. <laughs> <laughs> Right. A crest on the door. Oh, crest crest on, on the door, door. yes. Yeah. 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 Just, just yeah. Oh, I thought I did. Got that magnetised needle. Yeah. That's right a door. Door. Well, see, I was going to do that with the president, you see, is, is have like the like New Zealand flag on one side and like the Japanese rising sun on the other side. Yeah. But you, you can only have the, the rising sun uh, on display during certain hours of the day, I think, and on the, it has to be on the correct side of the colour, the right-hand side, I think. So you've got to be, got to be a bit careful about that. <laughs> but yeah, you can buy you can buy like a, um, a flag, like a magnet, just six on the side and the little pole in your so, yeah. yeah. Well, we've had, we had an old guy in Tau when we were driving through. <laughs> <laughs> and another guy, a push white guy, that falling off as we went past, yeah. trying to figure out. The worst thing is, is if Dean's not around and I'll be sitting in the car and I might be reading a book while I'm waiting for him and then suddenly someone's at the thing and they go, what is this? And I can't pronounce the name. It's like, I'm still trying to. Yeah, if we're going to the shops or something like that, she'll leave me in the car. And she'll go inside and I'll sit down. It's the amount of time I get, I'm like, oh, what is it? He's like, yeah, the car and explain what it is. And, well, what nickname did you give him? I missed it. It's Gloria, Gloria Grace. Grace. Gloria. Gloria Grace. Yeah. Gloria Grace. 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 Grace is graceful. Yeah. <laughs> and Gloria is glorious. Yeah. I mean, it's just my dream car, so yeah, I'm very happy. It's quite, it's quite cool actually, because um, there's a there's a few club cars like that as well. We, you know, we've got a few. Sort of one-offs and, and um, sort of replicas and things like that, and you know, we've got some club members who you know, have a lot of people coming to their cars and say, "Oh, yeah, what is it? What is it?" Um, I guess most of you will remember the uh, the Patero, the uh, the yellow one, Peter Andrews one. Um, when uh, when JK owned that, um, you know, we'd be driving around, and again, you know, it's it's a one-off build. It's it's completely unique, and uh, people just go, like, "Oh, what is this?" You know. How can I get my Where do I buy one? You can't. Yeah. <laughs> it's a complete, you know, one-off, one-off build. Um, but yeah, it's it's quite a quite a cool feeling when you have people appreciate it. Eh? Yeah. And I think that's what made me decide to go with that because the Rolls Royce you can get the Rolls Royce Phantom and it's rarer than a Rolls. That's what they said to me, so I was like, and it was a man in Marston that did have the Rolls that I wanted, but he wouldn't sell it. Um, well, you'd be regretting 12 miles to go now. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. What year is it? 1996. So they still make uh, the that model. Um, sorry, they still make a Mitsuoka Galoo, um, but it's like Galoo 3 or something like that, or Galoo 4. Um, so it's a totally different shape. Um, this this shape I think went from '96 through to around 2000, um, and then they, they changed the actual complete shape of the, of the front and everything. They went more of a, a modern more of a modern take on on the old world. So. Some of the new ones have got a bit of the same brand, though. The ones that came out later, they came out with the Z engines. Some yeah. of them had a um, V8, some of them had a Wings V8. Oh, okay. Um, that's the last thing that one. So, so uh, yeah, you know, this one's only a little too with a single jingle in line <laughs> six. There were some versions that came out later that would have been pretty uh, pretty grunty. Yeah, yeah. I think, like you said, though, I mean, this this is probably the better looking model so. of them all. Yeah. Um, it has the more of that, obviously, that classic shape. Yeah, yeah. That, that sort of regal shape. I guess. And yeah. that's what you're looking for, which we were. Uh, then yeah, that's that's the one. Yeah, well, it's like that that ultra modern one. Yeah, the the new model that we had a look at at work. Yep. And it's got that big sort of Chevy Silverado front, and it's got a weird ass back end, and it's just yep. it's like they've gone and chopped two cars and just slapped them together. It just it just looks terrible. It's like the, the smaller 
um, versions, well, not versions of this, but different models that they do. I think one's based on like a, it's a Nissan March or something like that. It's got the front of a Jag. Or something. It just looks hideous. They've already got it wrong, I think. But um, Google it and have a look. There's some really bizarre ones that they've done. There's some quite cool ones as well. Um, there's like a, a roaster type one, which looks kind of funky. Um, so. Oh, has anyone else got any more questions? Well, no, that's cool. Thanks so much, um, Dean and Angela, for bringing your car along. Um, we'll, um, I think we'll probably probably end the meeting here. Um, but look, if you guys have got any more questions or want to have a look at the car, um, you guys will be around for a little bit. Yep. Yeah, cool, cool. So, no, thank you very much for, for coming, everyone. Um, help yourself to um, tea and uh, snacks up there. Um, and uh, we will see you next month. Thanks, guys.